Hello there, good afternoon. I'm going to attempt to show you what is this thing, the tags file. It means you can pull away things from other sources, but then put it in actually into your own environment. I'm not going to use the cloud to do this. I'm just going to actually show you how do you make the tags file. And I'm going to try to write a language in this thing called Qt script. But I don't know because I don't know very much about it. So let's start writing this language. This language is going to be involving cats and dogs. There was a, a cat called Eddie. He was going down a road. Wolfie the dog. Okay, so this is my writing my cute script here. What well, I need some help here really. Go right square bracket. And that would normally, we're going to go to a definition and define that thing for me. At the end of it, I'm going to have a bit of a clarity. What I need to do to, to go on about dog. I'm getting stuck with dog. So I'm going to go and start with dog. So what we need is basically two things. We need, first of all, let's save this here. Intro scene. That's my intro scene doc here. The script I'm writing. So this is what I'm now going to try and do. How I get this, what the process involved is. I want it to end up so I can go right square bracket and get information on dog and know exactly what I've got to write for dog. So I knew it was dog, wasn't it? So now I'm going to call this qhelp.txt. And then in there, I'll explain this in a second. Okay, each line is the same in the tags file. You have at the beginning, you have the term, a search term. That search term is what is going to be under the cursor when you hit the control right square bracket. That's all that means. What that is looking for in this tag file when you hit the right square bracket. In this case, it's going to be dog. So that's when it matches that to what's under your right square bracket at the time you press it, it's going to go there. Well, it's not going to go there actually, I It's going to go to this, cutehelp.txt. That is going to go. And with this kind of thing, you need to be very careful because the tags file is not like hypertext, doc, you know, HTML kind of stuff. It has to be in this, it has to, everything has to be first time, it has to be in a tags file. Everything, like a telephone directory, all the addresses have to be there. And it has to be all in this format. The search term, then a tab, then the file that is going to be gone to. So you go there for this definition. And then more specifically, where in the file you go. And for this, you have a slash search for this term in the, in the file. And then I've gone star star space, could be whatever you want. I'll save this as Q tags. So now you should have my Q tags, that's my little file just written, and the file I'm trying to write, the intro scene dot Q, well, dot Q, the dot Q file I'm trying to write. So I could be actually going on the web and downloading stuff from, you know, various sources on Q language and just literally pasting them into this file. So I'm going to make my dog here, dog definition. Um, dog is a four-legged animal. Box, oh, it is better to define in green somewhere because they like running about. There's a lot more to this. This is the, the help file for, that I'm going to start. Now I'm going to call this cute help because I have to call it that because that's what I've talked about. But that's the important thing. The star star space dog space star star. That's the thing that's main. These things have got to be right. That's got to be right. The help file's got to be right. The tab's got to be there. Another tab's got to be there. And then the slash star star. Everything's got to be right in the tags. But um. There's one other bit of information that we've forgotten here. I always forget this. The script, the source file script, has to tell the editor, because it can tell the editor things as well. You can have the script, the source actual source file, tell the editor things. I want them, I want tags here to be cute tags. At the moment, if I do set tags, what are tags? I ask the editor, it says they're tags, comma, well, actually dot slash tags and comma tags. It's not really what I'm looking for because I wanted to use that thing, don't I? So that, when the editor loads this file, it looks at that and says, Vim, oh, that's for me. Oh, see, the user wants me to set tags to this value here. 
So let's drop that out a minute and then reload it. Interesting look here. Loaded. Obviously the editor saw there was something for itself and set the tags accordingly. Now we're all kind of set and ready to go. Okay, I'm stuck in this bit. I've set my file up. Let's go to the dog. Yeah, so here's dog. And it goes through and tries to find what that definition is. Definition, so as to what the editor looks for. But there's more to it, because if everything just looked like a simple heading in black and white text like that, it wouldn't be very interesting. Let's have this file type. File type equal help. We can do some clever formatting with it. So it looks like a real help file. Because this help is no longer just a common garden text file, it's a bit better. As, as the Vim understands how this you mean help. For example, I can add the tilde at the end there the character at the end of each line to make it that magenta kind of color more than that for each one I can add a bar at the beginning of the word and a bar at the end of the word to make it that color and I can also do this one star which gives it yet another color this one's very powerful because you can apply it to just about any word this bar bar at the beginning and the end and the star star you can do it at the end it highlights it like that but it's a bit less powerful because if I blue if I go comma, there has to be a space next to the, the, the star thing in order for the... It, it, it won't be a, it won't be recognising unless there's nothing to either side of the star star, in other words. I think that's a little bit better now. This is my, uh, this thing here, intro dot, interesting dot cute. I'm trying to write. I go dial four like an animal. Yeah, okay. Right to find somewhere some green. So, there. You'll stand next to the bit of green. So now I've written my script properly because I've got help from the file and it's told me, you know, oh, right. So, you know, I've got, you know, so again, it's comfortable. I'm never leaving the keyboard. It's right there. Yeah, right. Okay. So I've done that bit right. So what else could happen? I mean, I mean, I could add one for cat because there isn't one for cat at the moment. Let's do a cat's one. Okay. There's a thing about this file. It has to be in alphabetical order as well, but there's a very quick way to do that. I'm just going to stick to my format here, nice and simple. And this has to be a, a tab character. And then you've got to have the name of the file with nothing else. And then another tab there. And then the term that you're looking for. And the other thing, it has to be alphabetical order. At the moment, it's not in alphabetical order. But a quick way to do this is just simply to go percent, meaning this file, sort. So it puts it in alphabetical order. So that way you can just add it wherever you want and then do percent sort and it sorts it out. Now I'm going to go to my help file and add some, I'm just going to copy and paste this bit for, so cat, cat is very cute for legged, um, I like milk, so again nice and simple, with my, this is my tag, with my cat thing, I can find that thing that says cat, so I can actually look for help on cat now, I'll go over my cat, Control right square bracket, tune. like magic. Cat okay, is very cute. So again, I can pretty this up a bit. Cat okay, is very cute. So you know, as you would have it. Even better, there's this thing called the example thing. I put a right angle bracket there, and then I put a tab for however many lines of example I want. So now I'm going to have an example for the cat that I might have in my scripts. Right, for example, cat was wandering around. Not really a good example, but a lot of examples ain't really that good. So again, it, it, it's as it real, really would be. It, what you have to do is right, right angle bracket there. Everything has to be tab, that is the example. Because if you take it out, it doesn't work anymore, you see. So, and then at the end of it, close it with a left angle bracket. So there we go. I've written my definition for cat. Let's have a look at some help. Oh, look at that. Cat, yes, there's no all about cat. Gosh, they like milk. All right. So again, all in the comfort of my own space. Go on with the story a bit. But let's pretend like I'm trying to really write this. And I need help on bird. Bird, no, no bird. So, I mean, if this is a real thing, I could go online, find for information on bird. Bird, cute help, dot text, and then star star bird. And then to get this sorted, you just do percent sort. I'll give an example here and stop that. So again, that's my format with the right angle bracket, left angle bracket, it's an example. I should put that this as an example because that's normally how they do these in the 
this should all now work because it's all set up in the tags nice thing I want to show you now is that it's a bit kind of boring if it starts without you being able to read a description so we can add another vim thing it's called scroll off equals say six what this will do is give you a bit of space not just go there so it's giving you a bit of reading space to actually read it I was doing it in real thing I'd just be copying and pasting things from the web and as long as this is matching up correctly with my tags then it will be working hunky dory so that's basically an idea of how you could write your own file this this is more for my cute language so what I've ended up is with my so fairly decently written now cute which is really bad at the beginning because I didn't I didn't know a clue how to write it and then I got you know I filled it in gradually from things that I made up at the top of my head but you know it could have been from the web in this cute help.txt and the links for this thing came from the tags which was linked to from here with a tags command and you could also have other files you couldn't you don't necessarily have to have just one file you could have this could each line could be pointed to different files so hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea how to get that going so 